Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file and we are jumping in again. We're going to try and go for some streaks here. I think this episode we're going to go and play as Tainted Mammon. We've not done Tainted Mammon in a good while. Um, and this guy's pretty fun. Uh, if for those of you that haven't seen this guy in a while, basically this dude grabs curses off of killing enemies in your item rooms and using said curses can uh, build up some pretty big downsides and then... Uh, get sort of tainted keeper like shops to sell those curses and gain items it's a pretty cool system i like it it can be a it can be a little bit messy um but it's nice the next shop visit will um not have a trinket trader see now that's that's just completely fucked there's 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 no way i'm taking that but we can't leave things on the floor if we leave that it just disappears but there ain't no way i'm taking that that means we'd get nothing on the first floor and that sounds that sounds very 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 not good um, now, if I could have done it retroactively and gone to the shop first, that might have worked, but I have no idea if I can or not. Either way, how is everybody doing on this fine, fine day? I have to say, I'm doing a bit meh. For one, I was drinking the other night, and so I'm hungover. Um, and recovering. Uh, so in here we get enemies 15 10 chance to Icarus style upgrade, that's fine. Uh, we'll take that. But also, I I've, I've spoken about it before. I'm just confused with YouTube at the moment. I don't know if it's just because the time of the year I think it is, but goddamn, the Isaac views, they are poo-poo. Very, very poo-poo compared to normal. Like, it's not bad. I'm still getting, like, five, 600 views a video, but, like, down from, like, 900 to a, to a thousand. It's, 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 a bit, it's a bit rough sometimes. It's a bit rough. It makes, makes me feel a bit sad. But there's not really much I can do because... I can change the thumbnails all I like, but it, it seems to just be this time of year. You've just got to kind of take it on the noggin and deal with it um, and hope. I can't believe we didn't get a single trinket out of any of those. Um, and hope that it's not something that continues on past that point. Right, there you go. We got another trinket there. Damage down is fine. Not a big fan of it, but I will take it for the extra money we're getting. Lovely. Gimme, gimme. It's not actually that big of a damage down, realistically, either. Um, okay, so here's our shop. We don't want to go shop yet, though. We want to do our boss first. Because if we do our boss first, we get another uh, trinket to go and sell. We want as many that we can sell as possible. Because there could be a few items in the shop that are really, really good. You never really know. So let's uh, push forward and see if we can get anything. Okay, we should get at least one out of this room, I think. There's a lot of enemies in here. Oh, my God. Okay, we did get one. Didn't mean to get hit there. Um, okay, this is really annoying. I've just got to be aware. Basically, it just spawns a fireplace right in front of you every time. Okay, this is a bit a bit rude that I, uh, <laughs> I literally couldn't get past there without taking damage. Not a big fan of this room, to be honest. We got another trinket there. We got a lot this floor, actually. A lot and a lot. Wow, okay. Right, let's have a little look see. Uh, removes one heart container, two soul hearts. Grants an anti container, one sold. Yeah, we'll take that. It's a bit risky, but we'll take it. Um, worthless each time you take damage. Okay, so now we've just got to kill the boss without dying, which is. Eh, we'll see. Should be easy, but I've been known to uh, I've been known to mess up before. What I'd like to do is destroy some of these poops to uh, potentially reveal some hearts. There could be a heart in one of these, hopefully, which will uh, help us not not be in such a big bit of trouble here. But to be fair, we got Dingle, which is not a particularly hard boss. The only thing that's difficult here is um, if he spawns a lot of dips and they get in the way. But overall, this attack is very, very easy for us to avoid. I've just got to be mindful, is all. That's all I've got to do. I've just got to be mindful. Okay, I didn't think about the Icarus style upgrading of those guys, I'll be honest. I did not think about that at all. So that's not great. It's okay, though. We're, we're doing just fine. It's taking a little while because of our very, very low damage, but it's all worth it, I think. They only spawned one guy this time, that's good. And I think one more barrage of shots and you're dead, yeah, good, good. Um, 
Hearts no longer be picked up. Attempting to heal through any other means will fail. Yeah, we'll just take that. Right, we can come back and get Squeezy in a moment. Right, good job that Squeezy's there as well. Right, careful of this. There's going to be a fire on every door, I think. Okay, maybe maybe it doesn't count for rooms I've already been in, which is pretty darn useful. Okay, yeah, it doesn't count for rooms I've already been in, so I don't have to worry about walking into fires constantly here. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, hmm, what do you think of the GTA 6 trailer? Because it just came out, and it was pretty good. <laughs> I'd be interested to know what people think. Unfortunately, this shop is pure, just not, not goodness. It's, it's kind of terrible. Um, I think I'll take this, but the rest of it I'm just not, not that interested in. That wasn't, wasn't great. Yeah, this active item's fine. It basically, we use a random, like, held over our head item each time we use it, which can be a bit iffy. Sometimes it uses things that you really don't want to be using in the situation you're in, but we'll, uh, we'll figure out as we go. We'll figure out as we go. And we'll carry on and get squeezy here for the health and for the, um, the soul hearts. Uh, sorry, for the health and the fire rate. Right, quickly destroy all of these. Good job is we already have a bit of money, so we don't need to grab as many cases on this next floor. We're, uh, we're already able to buy at least one item. Right. Not a bad one there. There are some really good ones we can get out of this, to be honest. It's a, it's a pretty interesting active item, all things told. There's just a few of them in there that are a bit, like, iffy. But it's a one-room charge, so... Okay, that, that was kind of stupid. I used the Balrog's head to try and set on fire an enemy that is made of fire. Okay, I, I'm not, I'm not liking this, uh, the way this guy can throw these dips at me that move a million miles an hour and I can't seem to, uh, kill him. It's not ideal. God damn, these dips! These dips are so fast! Chill out so I can kill you! There you go. God damn, it was really, really, really rough. Grab that. Worth less each time I get hit, I think it said. Let's just not get hit a lot. Well, there's another one as well, the same thing. That's good. Okay, fire, if you could please just hurry yourself up. Fire should just, ju should just disappear as soon as the room's over, realistically. See, now that re-rolled an enemy into a much harder enemy, so not particularly pleased with that, uh, with that version of that. Okay. Item room is going to be... Curse of the Lost is annoying, but it's really not that bad. It's good money, to be honest. See, now that was nice. I think at this point, let's just go and sell. And yet again, not not great stuff. Um, This is definitely something we want. I think this is also something we want. And we'll carry on. But yeah, now we'll be able to uh, gain charges for this. I do like the fact that we can gain piercing and spectral over distance. That's very, very nice. That item's actually a lot better than I thought it was. <clears throat> but yeah, the ability to reuse our active multiple times on boss fights is going to be rather nice. Basically, the same guy again. I oh, completely whiffed that. It's, that's the problem. You, you can't really prepare for the thing that you've got up next. So I wasn't really that ready for that to be the item I was about to use. He dashed at the wrong time there as well. Oh, dude. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not ready. I'm not ready, my guy. I'm not ready. Good, good. Um, That's not worth it. I don't think we want Devil Deal either here. I think we're just going to go to the next floor. Yeah, this guy could be a tricky son of a bitch if, you're, uh, if your item rooms don't really pan out. Also, I really don't like the fact that Doctor's Remote is one of the items. It doesn't function the way, uh, the way I'd expect with this head.
having a very hard time killing this guy. We need a damage up is what we need. Our next shop better have a damage up in it. Because right now our damage is pretty pathetic. Okay, good. Pills I'm not interested in as of right now. And we keep on moving on. So yeah, in, in like regular rooms, having a 4.5 volt maybe isn't the best. But in boss fights, it's very good. With this active specifically, at least. Okay. Item room is always just going to have a curse in it. I don't know if it has higher tier curses if it's in your uh, item room or if it is just completely random. Have a little look-see there. Force you to shoot out all your keys in random directions. Removes golden key. Gives you ten. It's not even remotely worth it. I've got four keys right now. I do not want to lose four keys. You got one of those broken heart things there. So yeah, right now we're not, not in a great spot, I wouldn't say. Money-wise, we're not looking great. And uh, health-wise, it's kind of iffy. I'm hoping for more curses, but it, you're kind of at the whim of the game with this. Like, sometimes it's going to give you something that's not... I'm ugh, really not a fan of these rooms. These enemies that specifically always take three hits to die, and there's so many of them. It's just tedious. I don't want to have to fight like this. Okay, apparently that guy I'd hit twice already. I don't... Remember doing that, but there you go. Right. I thought I, I thought this game's spectral. Spectral not work on poops. Lose all of your keys. Okay, that's definitely a better trade than the other one before, but I don't think that's great. We need a lot of keys to make that valuable. Okay, we're going to get a curse out of doing the boss here, so we might as well do the boss. Okay. Well, this has been a struggle bus. It's been a bit of a struggle bus. But yeah, I'm going to say, I, I do want to I do want to sort of see what will make... I don't, I don't like the fact that I've hooked myself to a random wall here. Yeah, that, that was... This is, uh, this is not an item that I'm happy with here, because I am now stuck to the wall and can't move. So this is uh, not ideal. I am literally stuck to the wall and can't move. Um, rewind, I guess? Will it use the same thing again if I rewind? Yes, it will. Okay. Rewind again. Don't use the active this time. Well, that's, that's annoying. So this active's kind of useless now that I know that. Now that I know that I can just get myself completely stuck on occasion, it's not great. I'm just going to triple bomb this guy. Make him a hell of a lot easier for us. Yeah, not not ideal. That needs uh, that needs tweaking. We've got Sty here. Uh, M33 has a 15% chance to have plus 33% HP. That's fine. Sty, I'll leave you there for now, but you are a damage up, so I very much would like to grab you in the future. Yeah, so this active has become completely useless there. I guess I can do this. There you go. Didn't see that tinted rock before. Very, very nice. By the way, let me know if the game's too quiet or anything. I, I, I've i tweaked the sound a little bit because it was, um, I thought it was a bit too loud before and it might be a bit too quiet now, so I don't know. Let me know. Right, chill out, you. No curses. Damn. I will open this. Pretty happy I did, to be honest. Pretty happy I did. Um, I've only got one curse at the moment from this entire floor, which is pretty horrible. I go all the way back here and just see if I can get one out of my um, mob trap room. I might, I might be able to. We'll see. We'll do this room here first and see if we get get one from here. What the hell's that little red fly? I've never seen that before. 
It's like attached to that enemy. I don't know what that means. Oh, is that one of the ones with extra HP? It said 33% chance for... 15% chance for 33% extra HP. I'm guessing that is the indication of extra HP. Still no curses, though. Still no curses. Oh, and then even if we get a curse in this room, we can't grab it. So you know what's going to happen, don't you? We're going to get a curse from both of these guys. Oh, I like the fact that we poisoned him. Although the poison lasts for 0.1 of a second. Okay. Didn't get anything from either of those. Boss Trap Room is our last hope for getting some... Uh, Getting some curses here. Luck Penny's nice. Right, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That little flag just indicates this enemy's got more HP. Ah, oh, bloody forgot this enemy you can't burn. Doesn't work like that. Okay, good, got you. And you. So far, not so good. On the gaining more curses front. I thought this was going to be a surefire way to get at least one. But, very unlucky this floor. I, you watch, this will be the most stacked shop you've ever seen. I'm just going to take it. Pretty good, to be fair. Right, shop we're at, though. Okay. It is not the stackedest of stacked shops, I won't say, but... I do get time itself, and I'm going to bomb my donation machine so I can buy Stye, because I really want Stye. Right. Um, Magic Fingers would have also been really good there, but yeah, don't quite have the money for that at this point in time, I wouldn't say. And we'll just buy Stye here. Because it's some damage, and we need damage. Right. And then, yeah, time itself, whatever it's called. It's a pretty good middle ground of, of sort of, it's kind of a damage up. Not really, but kind of. It's also kind of pseudo-piercing, too. Which we already kind of also have. We have, like, two various forms of not piercing, but kind of piercing. Okay. Gonna lose my clots pretty quick here, but that's fine. They're kind of just along for the ride. They're not part of the, uh, the ecosystem of this build. Yeah, time itself's pretty good. I like it. I'm just, yeah, I'm confused. Maybe it's luck based on how many curses you get. If you have higher luck, you get more curses. But at the minute, we're just getting none. Just making it a little bit hard to uh, work the shops. But then again, our shops have been pretty abysmal. We've had like one good item per shop. Well, hello there, sir. I was not expecting this. I guess if we get some money, that could be uh, somewhat useful. Sun Bond. Now that is, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, trinket here. Nah. And then what's this? Active fireplace. Okay, as long as we remember that that's there, this isn't so bad. We just gotta, every time we walk in a room, we gotta stand still and fire for a second. And then we're good. Now, wait until you get over here so I don't lose my uh, ability to grab the curses, should they have one. Oh, come on. Just die already. Um, chance to not grant item charges or even remove charges. That's fine, whatever. Okay, losing my clotty boys is a little bit sad, I've got to say. About to lose my life soon, because just don't have enough damage to get through these rooms safely. I'm not liking this big boy fly here. This room in, in general is just, yeah, <laughs> really rough, and of course I get hit in it. Oh, and I forgot about the goddamn fire. A little bit in a rough spot here. little bit in a rough spot. Kind of an interesting room here that you have to, like, go through and then do that. Really? That didn't hit both of them? Are you kidding me? Didn't hit both of them. I am severely surprised. 
pop your head up, fool. Okay, I'd like another red heart, please, to alleviate my pains. Yeah, this is going to be rough, I think. This could be rough. But anyways, it's kind of fun to have these struggle bush runs every now and again. I do... I, I, I really don't mind them. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, what do people think of the GTA 6 trailer? Um, I, I'm actually, like... Like, uh, it's it's kind of one where it's a little bit iffy because, like, the trailer itself is great, but it doesn't obviously reveal too much. It gives us, like, a bit of a sense of the scale of the game, but not much more than that. Um, but that's kind of what you expect from a first trailer, especially from a Rockstar game. And I think it's, it's pretty good, and it shows a lot. Um, boost the cell power of other trinkets, that sounds good to me. If we make it that far, that is, because at the minute, I'm, uh... Not super confident in my ability to live right now. Especially when we're not getting red hearts from anything right now. It's not the sort of item I was hoping for there. Okay. You're a nuisance. Absolute nuisance. And I don't even know if I want to do my boss right now. It could be... Could be risky. I guess I'll just go and do my, um, go and do my, my shop. Because I think I've got enough now to make it worthwhile. I think. Yeah. But once again, all the items in here are kind of trash. Like, that's good, but... This is this this is this has been rough. We've not got many items at all going for us. Like for for how far we are into the run, we've not really got enough. The run's kind of iffy. And the thing is as well, we've not got many shops left. We've got two shops left. So these two shops have to be pretty amazing. What I'm feeling is gonna happen here is I'm gonna die, which is evident by the fact that I just got hit. And we're just gonna roll this back and hope for better shops. We'll see, though. We'll see. We live through this, at least. And we got this, which isn't very good. We'll keep on going down. Yeah, uh, the fact that we have to buy our boss items, too, definitely adds to the struggle a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I guess a game coming out in 2025, it's, it's, it's a long wait, but it's an understandable wait, like... I, I kind of expected nothing less. In fact, I was a little bit surprised it was 2025. I was kind of expecting 2026 um, on the release date thing. So, it's not that bad. I'm just a, li a little bit sort of sad that we're going to have to wait all this time for it. And then um, we're going to have to then wait another year for it on PC. Okay, I am getting absolutely memed on by these. Dude, my damage is so low. <laughs> my damage is so, so low right now. My goodness. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be uh, a run that's long for this world, to be honest. We'll see, but... Sometimes... Sometimes I uh, I just don't have it in me. But tell you what we'll do, if we do die... Oh, no. I've just strapped myself to a goddamn wall. Uh, tell you what, if we do... Um, if we do die... Okay. Um... What's going on here? I'm flying now? I have flight now, apparently. Okay. I can't I can't kill this guy. It's really annoying me. <laughs> yeah, I have flight now, apparently. I don't really know how or what happened there, but... Just die. My damage. My goddamn damage. Thank you, lovers, for keeping me in this perpetual pain. Ow. Doesn't help when we're taking curses which make our run harder. Six broken hearts, literally who cares? We've not got health anyways, so six broken hearts doesn't doesn't make a difference to us. Right, let's keep moving. Yeah, it's been a weird one. Blue candle does nothing for us. Yeah, we'll do the deleted challenge if we die, which honestly I'm fully expecting at this point we will. Unless this shop is just absolutely okay, I, I died. It doesn't matter. The, okay, rough character. Let's go and do the um, the deleted challenge because 
this one is 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 a lot of fun and it can be it can be pretty wild. Um it can get a little bit a little bit crazy and I, I like that. Oh don't set yourselves on fire, guys. That's a little unfair. It's kind of crazy to think that we have the same damage now as we did on that last run. <laughs> on the caves too. Oh lovely. Sometimes the game can be very, very cruel. But then again, it's also like the gimmick of some of the modded characters just lends itself to be difficult. Ma uh, Mammon specifically, both tainted and non-tainted Mammon, can have, like, just... If you get unlucky, you you're you're just ruined. <laughs> the run just isn't plausible if you get too unlucky. Which is it's a shame, because the characters are fun, but it can sometimes make the experience a little bit... A little bit unfriendly. Right, we'll take whatever this is, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've I've already triggered the classic deleted challenge trope of I am now farting a lot. For some reason, in this challenge, you always end up having some item that just makes you fart. And it, it, it seems to be always one of the first items you get as well, so we farted and we entered the room. So far, we're not seeing any other repercussions of this item, um, apart from occasional farts. So we'll see how that goes. What we want is we want something that's going to give us like a mighty big damager. We want something that's basically like faking itself as red stew. Good. This will be used on the boss. Makes our life easier. We're on active here. Got some strange sound playing there. Of like a gas leak by the sounds of it. I don't particularly know. Lovely stuff. Okay, one room active. What does it do? It lagged the game a lot and it spawned an item. So I'm not entirely sure. It did damage to us, liked the game, spawned an item. Okay, spawned a different item this time. Is it trading the items we have for other items? Maybe. So if we use it in a room with combat, what happens? Does it kill everything? No, it doesn't. It did give us another item. So we currently have four... T tainted items. I want to see if it does take one away from us. We currently have four tainted items. No, we still have four. It is, it is new items here. That's an active this time. 13 of stars has appeared. What the hell? I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to take that other one because it seems like it's going to be lead to some wackiness, which I like the idea of very much so. Give me this, bad boy. I've managed to get 0 .04 damage at some point, so thank you for that. Does it do a full heart of damage each time I use it? It does, yeah. The spawns an item, though. That's pretty good going, right? Oh, I think it removed a red heart as well, maybe. Okay, and this- Oh, wait! It's Void. That's what it is. It's, uh, the item that- Singularity, that's what it's called. It's using Singularity. And now, it's not working because it's not- It's just giving us chests because we don't have any red hearts to give away, maybe? Okay, this, this, is, this works out for us. Basically, we can trade a red heart for an item whenever we want. Wait, where was that active item? I should go and uh, re-roll that. I said this 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 could be pretty good for us still. This could still be pretty good for us. Okay. Absolute nonsense. Who knows what's going on? I mean, we got money and stuff now. That's at least good. Yeah, I thought it was Singularity Affairs, but I'm not, I'm not sure what item this is that removes a red heart container and gives you a, an item. That's kind of good. 
Don't mind a gulpy gulpy. I don't mind an eternal heart. Eternal heart's an item for us, essentially. That was a very, very bad hit for me. And a golden key. It's giving us all, all sorts of great stuff here. Nice and easy on that guy. Oh, we got this boy! This guy can sell us more items. More ways of getting more items is always good. Right, then we pop this, removes our heart, and we get a new active item. Which we'll try and figure out what it does. It kills enemies, apparently. And it gives us a swingy familiar. And now I've got flight, apparently, also. That's something. God damn. Okay, apologies. Let's continue on. On to our party path. Okay, we've got some interesting stuff going on. Uh, we got some red hearts back from somewhere. We probably want to keep this. So we can keep getting more and more items. I think that other one is what gives us flight, though. The holding that just gives us flight straight up. Use the magician card there. Not quite sure what's going on now with this active item. I'll try and figure it out the best I can, but I'm not sure if we can. We just stole those bombs. I'm liking the setup we've got going on here, though. This is interesting. <clears throat> to say the least. You give us an 8 cent book of Rat Poison Skiff. Good old Rat Poison Skiff. Cassianus. That just uses a random card, I think. Maybe. Use Magician last time. Oh! Goddamn spawned a bomb on me. Okay. Not too bad. These guys explode. Careful for that. We got good damage going. Don't bomb him. What's, what's left? Oh, really? How? How <laughs> did you escape all that? I don't know what my health is right now. I'm just sticking with this active item for now. An extra bomb, thank you. Ooh, hello. Pink fella. A little bit hard to uh, hit this guy with a bomb, I think. Not going to be particularly easy. Oh, dude. Guy's got herming shots, no thank you. Apparently on getting hit we also use a card, which is interesting. Oh dude, the herming shots. Brutal, man. We got cube baby. Did not mean to activate you, good sir. Did not mean to activate you at all. Oh god, okay. We've entered we've entered the fucky stages of this run. We have entered the fucky stages of this run. Why have I got this shield around me and it's not protecting me from damage? I'm very confused by that. I have a lot of cube babies now, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> right, to the next floor to see what the hell is going on right now. Health isn't actually as bad as I expected, which is nice. Seems that we spawn enemies all the time, and we're spawning... Okay, this is just nuts. I think our active item gives us curses and gives us stats for the curses we have or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not quite sure what triggers the, um, all the enemies spawning. That seems to be a somewhat somewhat of a mystery. Maybe it's killing certain types of enemies. It's not good though. Not good. 
I mean, I like those soul hearts, thank you for- God damn it! I keep having the circle around me and so I'm like, ah, oh, I'm invincible, and I'm just not. <laughs> it's just a lie. I keep getting myself hurt because of it. Oh, dude. I have a feeling we're not going to be around for long. Oh my lord, I keep bombing myself. Every time I touch anything, it drops a bomb. Just die, thank you. Oh my god, the amount of explosions right now is obscene. We need much less explosions, please. Much less of those, too. Not a good enemy to have for this. And my shad. <laughs> right, we'll take and my shad, and we'll just go down to the next floor. And yeah, we're kind of, at the minute, we're kind of in the, the territory of let's just hope that, that things come together for us. Because if they don't, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Just be very, very wary picking anything up because it's going to spawn a bomb. I don't know how to avoid that. That's just, that just is what it is. <laughs> this active item doesn't seem to do anything either, which is a little annoying. Okay. And in here we've got a half soul heart. That's, that's definitely, definitely good. Um, did I get the item there? I don't think I did. What happened there? I think I picked something up and it deleted the item. Oh, hello. We got a big old skull. Could give us some HP. Yeah, things are just randomly deleting themselves here, so... That's not great. We've got a reusable active item now that I'm... Unsure exactly what it does. Okay, it turns items into nothing. Exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. It does heal me, though. It does heal me. And I've got a holy mantle from somewhere, so... We might be okay. We have an, a reusable active item that gave me HP, although it didn't give me HP the second time around, so a little unsure what's going on there. Oh, this is a new active item, and it deleted the other one! God, okay. Okay. This is all sorts of messed up. Active items are just going to be changing hands like nobody's business here. <laughs> things are just getting removed and deleted constantly. It is what it is. Okay. Morbid hearts, very nice. I need to be picking up the thing I want first, because otherwise it gets deleted. Seems to be a common theme right now. Gotta remember that things ain't, ain't so permanent for us right now. A lot of things are going to delete themselves. Also, I'd like you to be on the ground where I can hit you. That doesn't seem at all plausible right now, though, because she seems to just want to bugger off into the sky. I don't know how I went so long without being hit there, to be honest. Okay, we're good. Good-ish. Right, pick up what we want first. Take this. Didn't want to fight you. Oh lord. Um, something has happened. Our active item seems to be um, a little destructive, to say the least. We're, we're gonna we're gonna hold off and let this try and play out. 
don't know how long it's going to take. The game is still chugging along. It's not crashed. But we probably don't want to use this active anymore. If we escape this, this hell. Which is debatable. I can't even escape right now, so... We'll see. <laughs> I'm kind of freeze-framed right now. I'm trying to work out what exactly is going on in that mess. So there's some spinning tops. There's a brimstone beam or multiple brimstone beams. There's quite a few explosions. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. I think the angel's dead. I think that's apparent. We might have to replay this floor. <laughs> there's a chance. Are you okay, game? Would you like to uh would you like to be 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 squashed so we can try again? Yeah, let's let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. We might have to redo that floor. But that is that is the deleted challenge in a nutshell. That's kind of what you're looking for, it's what you're hoping for. <laughs> I might do this again on uh, my next episode as well, you know. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> it's just absolutely balls-to-the-wall craziness, and I kind of like that. It's fun. Right, we're back. We are back, and we are continuing from this run, I think. Yes, yeah, so at the minute, we are replaying this floor, which is kind of bad because... I feel like I got myself into a good position with that last floor, and now we're, we're back to it being a bit uh, up in the air, so to say. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna pretend it's all fine. Oh my god. Turning everything to fortune cookie tears is not, not what I'd call uh, the best. What I need is I need that activate and it gives me HP and then just keep it. I'll see if I can do that, but I can't make any promises right now. Ow. I might just die on this floor before we get back to that point, to be honest. I don't know. Again, we shall see. I think it was this item room here. Yeah. Okay. Don't pick up the half soul half, pick up the item first. So where the hell did I get this item? Did Swindler maybe give me it, or was it from this? Was it this? Maybe? Seems to give me a lot of HP. I thought that was quite what I was looking for, but... Maybe? <laughs> okay, I just deleted that item that he uh, tried to sell me. I apologise. Okay. Keep it going. Now we're taking that, thank you. He's always trying to, to steal my shit. Luckily, these guys have not been too bad. Normally, they all spawn and then just fart themselves to death. Which works for me, I guess. Okay. Damn it. Why does it delete everything? <laughs> I just wanted two pennies so I could buy that item he sold me in the other room, but... I guess that's too much to ask. Okay, boss time. Okay, now I have enough. Let me quickly go back and grab the item that is for sale. I think it's not this room, room before. Yeah. Grab whatever the hell this is. See if it makes things better or significantly worse. And then we'll see. Oh, a secret room there that I missed. Yeah, they all just commit suicide. Yeah, stop jumping, big boy. Makes it very hard to actually deal any damage to you if you just keep jumping. There you go. We've got that. Got that. 
quickly check out what's in here. Ah, nothing good. Okay. Health is not great now, but we made it through this floor without crashing this time, which I feel is a great success. Although saying that, it seems that one of the items we picked up is is causing some issues with uh, picking up anything. We do seem to now have a soy milk brimstone thing going on. Which is intriguing to say the least. Yeah, this is probably not going to go the best, considering we've just had another freeze. It seems to be if we touch literally anything, the game is absolutely destroyed. So, basically, if the game does recover from here, which it might not, <laughs> we can't touch anything for the rest of the run. Otherwise, we we enter the the realm of eternal damnation. So let's 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 reboot again, shall we? <laughs> game crash, of course. And then yeah, let's just. Try and not touch a single other thing for the entire run. How's about that? <laughs> oh, I do like it. I think uh, I think next episode, if we don't beat this, we'll try again. And then after that, maybe we can do like an Arachna run. We've done an Arachna in a while. Right. Let's continue here. Just don't touch a single goddamn thing. If we do, the entire world is is, is destroyed. Okay. We no longer have Brimstone, which is strange, but probably significantly safer for our run, if anything. Just don't touch anything. No key. I can't, I can't grab you. Okay, no, it's, it, it maybe it's nothing to do with picking stuff up, because it's, it's happened again, and it seems to always be this thing of a lot of explosions and brimstone and then just absolute FPS loss. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll leave this episode there. This is kind of what happens on this challenge. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely a fun one. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.